I'm Nick Baspley with Canaweld here in Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be unboxing the PT01 ACDC uh, TIG welding machine. It's got a pulse welding capability and you can also stick weld with it. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you guys this machine. We're going to unbox it, we're going to set it up, see how everything hooks up together, and then later on we're going to do some demos. So let's get started and see what we got in the box. The first thing you're going to want to take out when you're doing your unboxing is your user manual and you're going to want to open it up to the safety section page. You're going to want to make sure you read this. It's going to give you some really good tips on how to protect yourself, protect the people around you, uh, and protect your property from fire, from harmful welding fumes, and from the excessive light. So make sure you don't skip this, alright? Secondly, we're going to pull out these really nice thick padded bags that you get to put all your gear into. Uh, Candle Weld supplies these. And these are really nice. You can just throw your equipment in there and throw it in the back of your truck, not have to worry about damaging it or scratching the nice paint job. Next, we'll take a look at all the attachments it comes with. So first we have our ground clip. The ground clip is the standard alligator type. It's nice and stiff, so you get lots of contact and it's got a 10 foot lead on it, so it should be able to reach most places you need it to go to. Next, we're gonna take out our TIG torch. These are really nice 12 foot torches. It's got the nine pin connector here. They also have a ball joint in the bottom, so when you're getting into awkward positions, you don't have to worry about pinching your gas line. And they're also the flex head style, uh, which is really nice for getting into those tight joints so you don't have to bend your wrist in an awkward way to keep the proper travel angle. Um, this one here has the thumb control on it, so you turn it on and off with that. Uh, and if you're more of a foot pedal person, uh, Canna Weld also offers a metal foot pedal here uh, for the people that prefer this. It's also got the control on the side. It's solid steel, nice and heavy duty. It's a really nice piece of kit. I like these myself. Next, when you're doing your arc welding uh, capabilities, you have uh, your electrode holder here. Uh, we call it a stinger sometimes. It's got a 10 foot lead on it. Um, as you can see, it's the nice thin uh, wire here. So when you're working out of position, working overhead, uh, you don't have to worry about your arms getting too sore and tired. That's a nice. And we also have our uh, gas connection hose for hooking up when we're doing our TIG welding. You can see it's the quick connect back here. So you just pull it back and slip it onto the back of your machine. It's really nice. You don't have to worry about carrying a crescent wrench with you and tightening it up and uh, slowly rounding off the nut and that sort of stuff. So let's take a look at what else this comes with. We also have our regulator. It's nice the kit comes with this. You don't have to worry about going out and buying it. These are the standard brass regulators. Uh, this part here will hook up to your bottle of argon or CO2 or mixed or whatever. This part here will hook up to uh, your torch. And you will use this set screw in the front to adjust the flow of gas coming in and out towards your work. So now we'll get to the machine. This is a really nice machine. It's got a 200 amp power source. Uh, you can run 100% duty cycle um, at 130 amps, which is great. That means you can weld all day long and you don't have to worry about um, getting too hot or overheating or whatever else. So we're going to take a look at how to set up our TIG welding accessories first. So we'll start with the ground clip. Ground clip's going to go into our positive. These are the nice quick connects. So you just slide it in the keyhole. Give it a twist and you're ready. Take our torch. We'll plug in the nine pin connector. And then we'll plug in the torch itself with the same sort. These are really nice connections. These are your standard size connections, uh, even though it's a smaller machine. Um, these larger connections help to dissipate heat, allowing the machine to run longer. And they're also interchangeable with the larger cables. So when you're out there in the field, maybe you already have other cables, you'll be able to use them uh, on, your, on this machine here, which is really nice. Um, 
The machine also has the pulse welding capability, which is great. The pulse welding allows you to run a bit of a, a quicker bead and you get a really nice finish. And you get that really nice finish without having to add all the extra filler rod. That means that in the end, if it's something you need to grind down, there's less for you to grind. Uh, and it also looks really nice. You can get a much nicer finish with less training uh, when you use the pulse technique. Uh, the pulse is also really great for when you're working on really, really thin metals that you may be worried about burning through. It allows you to control the heat a bit better. So maybe you're welding around an open circle or something like that and you don't want it to distort. You put it on pulse and go around and it'll help keep it nice and cool and uh, help everything flow smoothly. So next, we'll set up for arc welding. So we're going to disconnect our TIG torch. We're going to slide our ground over. And we're going to plug in our stick holder. Now it's really nice to be able to do this in just a matter of minutes. Um, you might not always want to have to bring around a tank of compressed gas with you. So it's nice that when you have a machine like this, again with the ACDC, you can weld steel, you can weld aluminum, you can do the pulse welding, and if you're in a pinch and you're out on the farm or something like that or you don't have any compressed gas left, it's just a quick switch over and you're ready to go for stick welding, which is really great. It offers a lot of flexibility in the machine and a lot of versatility. It allows you to do many different processes and work on thick, thin, aluminum, steel, stainless steel, and anything else that you can stick weld. Okay, so now it's time for the demo. First, we're gonna check out the TIG welding aspect of this machine. We've got some nice tickets all set up, one eighth, thick, one -eighth of an inch thick aluminum. We're gonna set up some T-joints, and we're gonna check out the pulse feature, as well as the standard TIG welding method. After that, we're gonna break out the arc welding, and we got some nice big fat tickets of uh, mild steel here. They're an eighth of an inch. We're gonna set up some more T-joints, and I'm really excited to see the results. So we had some really nice results with these. Let's check out the results of our pulse TIG first. Came out really nice on the aluminum. Then on the back of this, we did our standard aluminum weld. Also came out quite nice, really good. Next, let's check out how we did with the arc weld. So we got them all cleaned up here. These came out really nice. We got one here, and we did a horizontal just for fun on the back. Really pleased with these. So all in, this is a really great machine. It weighs only 29 pounds. Um, I personally use it myself at home. Um, I find it useful for all sorts of occasions as a hobby welder, but also if you're working out on the farm, you're doing contracting, you're doing manufacturing, this is a really great setup. Again, it really allows you to be super flexible. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Nick Baspley again. Stay safe out there and have a lot of fun. Thank you.